G'day everybody. I want to have a little bit more of a chat about ignition systems today, um, specifically transistor controlled ignitions or TCI. This unit here. Welcome to Basket Cuts. So the reason that I decided just to do this uh, quick little video was because there's a um, one of the guys out there that's that's watching these videos in the US, he's he's got his own basket case. His name's Jason. He popped a comment into um, the ignition coil video that I did last week, and he um, is having a few issues with his bike. So I thought I'd try and uh, explain it at a very high level, so layman's terms on on how a transistorized controlled ignition works. Um, most of us are probably familiar with a standard mechanical type ignition system where, where you have uh, points and um, a little lobe on the crankshaft and when the points are closed the power supply is the circuit to the primary coil and your ignition is, is complete, is closed and then when the points open it collapses that uh, magnetic field around the around the primary coil induces a high voltage in the secondary coil which which ignites your spark plug jumps across the gap in your spark plug ignites your fuel um, but nowadays they've gone solid state and computers in, in more modern bikes that control your ignition and of course you've got you know, fuel injection and all these other advances in technology well, we're dealing with a fairly um, archaic type of system here but they are very good strong reliable system and um, they work pretty well so what I'll what I thought I'd do is um, do a quick get the notebook out again and do a little explanation on on just how these systems work in the hope that you can better understand it so Jason's building an XS1100 he's got uh, his own basket case as he said to me and he sent me some photos so I'll pop them up now and you can have a quick look at what he's got to work with he wants to build a rat type bike and uh, have a stripped down wiring loom well he hasn't got much choice because the one he's got um, has all, had all the plugs hacked off it and it's been chopped up pretty bad so he's going to try and um, rescue that as you can see it's a, it'll be a cool looking bike when it's done um, so come on Jace let's uh, get it up and running and, and send me some shots or some video and we can we can pop that up and have a and share your experience as well because that's what this is all about um, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's he's struggling with it a little bit. So I think he's having trouble trying to get power to the coils at the moment. He's, he's managed to get the thing turning over. And I sent him a, uh, a wiring diagram for chop down wiring uh, for a 78, 79 model bike. So I'll pop that up now. You can take a screenshot if you want to take it. If you're building a cafe racer, uh, a bobber or a chopper or anything that you know you want to reduce the wiring in the in the system and get rid of all the um, nice to haves and just stick with what you need to have this is just the ignition circuit nothing else and uh, you can buy you can look at the um, the starter button and, and engine on off switch and you know change all that up too I mean I'm only running a uh, I'm only going to be using a simple three position uh, ignition so it'll have off park and on and I think that Jason's running something similar. You can run vehicle type ignitions where you use the key to start. But all you've got to do is try and provide power to that starter motor. So um, I'll, what I'll do now is I'll get the sketchbook out and we'll, we'll have a little look at how these transistorized systems work in, the, in a better hope that you can understand them and maybe help to diagnose any issues that you might be having. Okay, TCI ignition. 101. So this, this is, like I said earlier, very basic. Um, you have a battery, of course, with a positive and a negative. Uh, TCI is what is uh, an ignition system type that is uh, called a battery powered ignition. So it doesn't actually self generate power from the crankshaft to supply for your um, for your your ignitions, power to your coils, etc. It all comes from the battery. So the second you turn the key on, uh, you've you've got a live system. 
uh, battery obviously has a, a, a chassis earth and then out of the positive side um, it goes through your ignition switch from there usually through a, um, through a fuse and then through um, the engine engine off switch or run switch on your um, on your handlebar and then from there it, it uh, has a junction so it provides power to the TCI we'll put it in here TCI and uh, it's actually a red and white wire on the XS 1100 and the TCI has a ground as well it also provides power to your coils so it comes down and into both of the primary side of your coils and of course on the you also have the secondary side of your coils here and they go to your spark plugs these are your high tension leads um, so there's a gap across the electrode of your spark plug and they go to ground too so now we've got to try and complete these circuits there's a control unit inside the TCI that completes the circuit for those coils by taking them to ground now on your crankshaft you have a thing called a reluctor and it rotates with the crankshaft now in the case of the XS 1100 it's actually uh, a shaft driven bike and because of the configuration of the gearbox and the middle drive unit it actually, the engine actually has to run in a clockwise direction so most conventional motorcycles with point systems etc um, and chain drives run in an anti-clock direction so when you're looking at the left hand side of the bike on the XS they actually run backwards just look where your timing chain tensioner is because uh, that'll dictate uh, what direction it runs there's um, two pulsar coils on the XS that feed into your TCI, put a plug there because they've got plugs on them obviously and they feed into this unit here so the way way they work is you, you liven your ignition up it provides power to both coils and um, also to the TCI and um, then as your crankshaft turns around and this reluctor passes the pulsar coil it sends a signal to this box and what that does is it it switches between um, one and four coil and two and three coil so whichever one is energized at the time because it will only complete the circuit for one or the other so let's just assume that the circuit is completed to ground from um, from uh, number one and four coil so the electromagnetic field lines of flux are allowed to build up around um, that coil because it's got a completed circuit and then as the reluctor passes the, the appropriate um, pulsar coil it sends a signal to this little black box inside your TCI which switches the power off so it breaks that circuit and that collapses that magnetic field induces the high voltage discharge from the secondary side of the coil which causes the spark at the same time that it collapses that field it energizes this one so then we have uh, the magnetic lines of flux allowed to build up the mag uh, electromagnetic field and then it passes the second um, pulsar coil and it switches the circuit back to this one 
So that's how it works. It alternates. It just uh, directs it to earth uh, for either circuit. There's uh, two plugs that go into your your TCI unit and uh, if you've got a butchered wiring loom and you're trying to work out which wire goes where, I'll pop a picture up that shows you the coloured wires that go to each of these terminals. So you can uh, you know, hope to, to figure it out. So you can take a screenshot of that as well. Well, I hope that was uh, ho helpful to someone out there and um, particularly Jace, I hope it um, works out for you, mate and that uh, you can get that thing running and we look forward to, um, to, to seeing it get going too. I think he sort of lost, he lost a bit of heart um, because of the wiring loom and he's, he's now been able to, as I said earlier, provide power and get the thing to turn over, uh, which is a, a good step. And now he's uh, looking to liven up the ignition. So come on, mate, get her up there and, um, and uh, share, your, share your experience with us and um, We'll keep plodding on with basket case. I'm at the point now where I'm working with the wiring loom too, and oh my goodness! So uh, look forward for that. Look, look to that video um, to see me doing a lot of beard scratching and, and pulling my hair out. So join us next time on Basket Case. Uh, subscribe. Stay tuned. We'll be back. See you later. To fan out, and the reality is that these are these are junk. So what to do? Well, uh, I went and did a little bit of shopping online and uh, I went through the XS 1100 forums here and overseas and it seems that these are the, the weapon of choice.